Hey, what's going on guys? Team Penguiners back today with a brand new episode of Club Penguin Rewritten. In this video guys, as you can see, the Christmas party is officially here on CP Rewritten. So if you guys are ready for this video, be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more awesome content like this. And let's get straight into the video. So guys, first things first, as we can see, one of the biggest things about the holiday party is of course coins for change. So all over the island, there are these stands where you can actually donate coins over to housing, foresting, and medication. So I've donated around 10,000 coins already, but let's donate another thousand coins. And something super cool that you can actually receive after donating, you can actually receive the 2020 Coins for Change pin. So if we scroll down here, as you can see, here it is. And you can donate 500, 1,000, 10,000, or even more coins to receive that pin, which is very cool indeed. But of course, one of the biggest things is, of course, Rock Hopper's ship. So if we head downstairs into the ship hold, as you guys can see, it's already decorated amazing. But we've also got ourselves a pirate catalog in which we have Rock Hopper's rarest items. So we've got ourselves the Build Safe Places t-shirt for 100 coins, Protect the Earth t-shirt for 100 coins, the Provide Medical Help t-shirt for 100 coins, the Coins for Change beanbag chair for 200 coins, and of course, the Coins for Change background for 60 coins. And over here, we have ourselves the Globe Hat, which is, of course, for free. And if we actually head into Rock Hopper Quarters, we can actually play the Treasure Hunt minigame, which is very cool indeed. Now, going away from Rock Hopper, if we actually head back over to the town, there's actually a new catalog available for the holiday party. So as you can see, here it is, and it looks absolutely amazing. So we've got ourselves the Flestive Fluffy, the Big Bell, the Train Engineer, White Puffle Pullover, the Holiday Lights, the Jingle Apron, the Train Engineer Outfit, and of course, the prestigious Christmas Scarf. If we head over to the next page, we actually have ourselves this head item, which is for free. We have the Reindeer Antlers and the Cranberry Decoration. Over here, we have ourselves the Jack in the Box hat and the Jack in the Box face along with the jack-in-the-box ruffle and the jack-in-the-box outfit. And finally, the last two items on this page are the holiday teddy and the Santa's sled. So the next thing to check out is, of course, Santa's sled. So if we click on it, as you can see, we've got ourselves the magic sleigh ride, which says, fly across the starry sky on a magic sleigh ride, help deliver presents, and earn a special gift. So if we actually click go there, as you can see, here we are now on Santa's sleigh. So if we click on the word fly, we can actually go ahead and begin to fly over the land and help Santa deliver his presents. So if you actually click on this button right over here, you can actually deliver the presents. So let's get started. After delivering 15 presents to different igloos around the land, you can actually pick up your very own Santa's Magic Backpack, which you can redeem right over here. So once you've done that, you've pretty much completed the sleigh ride, and you can also continue to deliver more presents. But if you do want to head back over to the island of CP Written, all you have to do is click on this button right over here, and it will take you back to the platform. Now, something else that's important to mention is that if you actually go ahead and walk your puffle, I believe that there is some type of feature which makes it so that you can actually put a Santa hat on them. So as you guys can see, Braxton is currently wearing a green Santa hat on our player card. Now, I'm not entirely sure how he's supposed to be wearing it in-game. Uh, it might just be a visual glitch, but as you guys can see on our player card, he actually is wearing the Santa hat, which is really cool. Final thing to mention is that if you actually head over here to this Coins for Change icon and open up the party interface, as you can see, you can actually receive different community prizes, which depend on how much coins the community donates. So as you guys can see, within the first 30 minutes of this party being released, the CP Rewritten community has already donated 28 million coins. So if you guys do go ahead and continuously keep checking back up here, you guys can actually get a bunch of amazing things. So as you guys can see, the community has raised enough coins for coins for change to unlock this reward, which is the gift. And honestly, it looks absolutely amazing. So as you can see, the second community coal is a gingerbread man. The next being some bunny slippers, the fourth being a wagon, and the fifth being an ugly Christmas sweater, which honestly doesn't look that bad. And the sixth being a super cool and fuzzy hat. So uh, yeah, those prizes look absolutely amazing. And of course, the final thing to mention is that if you guys are going to log on to CP Rewritten, I'd recommend going on a super large server. 
because this Christmas tree right over here will actually grow depending on the number of people on the iceberg. So if there's one penguin on the iceberg like me right now, then as you can see, it's actually a super small and sad Christmas tree. But if you go onto a large server, you can actually grow this Christmas tree to a really big height. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more awesome content like this. I do apologize if this video seemed rushed, guys, because I've already done this recording over three times but that is going to be it for this video and i'll see you all in my next one bye, -bye.